This is our second how-to on how to construct a pushdown automaton, a PDA, for a given language. And the language we are looking at now is the language of palindromes of even lengths. Let's have a form look first. The language we're looking at is this one here. It's the set of all words that are composed of two parts. First part is W, the second part is the reverse of W and W consists of A's and B's. So the palindromes are formed by taking some arbitrary word, reversing it and concatenating both. So the idea is that the subword W from the beginning is reversed and added to, the, to this subword. Now we've already seen in the previous example that when we push a word on a stack, uh, it is actually reversed on the stack. The letter that is pushed last is the, uh, the topmost uh, character on the stack. So this is already nice. In the previous example, we had a special letter C, which uh, only occurred uh, in the middle. So we could use this letter C as a marker uh, for, for the middle position. And this was the position at which we should stop pushing uh, letters onto the stack and start actually matching. However, we don't have any indication here in our language now. But we can simply guess the middle, because we are using non-deterministic PDAs here. Now to start the construction for building the PDA, again we start with an initial state, and in this initial state we push all the A's and B's that we see, and uh, there are numerous uh, combinations possible, and we simply put all of them onto the stack. At some point, we have to guess the middle. So we change the state using uh, an epsilon transition, reading nothing from the input. And at some point, we simply decide that it, sh it is time to change state. And we don't change the stack here. In the second state, like in the previous example, we perform the matching, match the input and the stack. And at the end, if we find the bottom marker, then we uh, go to the accepting state. So actually the only difference compared to the previous example is that we make this transition from Q0 here to Q1 non-deterministically using this, this epsilon transition. Because we could either uh, continue with the A's and B's pushing them onto the stack or we can uh, take the epsilon transition and start the, the matching. However, if we chose a uh, wrong um, point in time to actually make this transition, then the um, PDA will get stuck at some point and we won't be able to reach our accepting state. So this only works if we make this transition at the right moment. Okay, let's have a look how, how the PDA works. Again, like in the previous example, we start in state Q0. I write down the IDs for the, for the um, moves of the PDA. So we start in Q0 and let's say we have the word ABBA, which is a palindrome of even length, so it should be accepted. And initially we have the Z0 on the stack. Then we stay in Q0, pushing the A on the stack. So we have a B, a B and an A remaining in the input. We have the A pushed on the stack. Then we stay in Q0, BA is still to come, have BA Z0 on the stack. And now we decide non-deterministically that we take this transition here and switch state. So we simply move to Q1. And in Q1, we do not change anything. And then we start matching. So we match the B against the stack top. So A is remaining, we have an A and Z0. And then we match the A. So there's nothing remaining in the input and we are, have Z0 on the stack. And then we take the final transition here to our accepting state. So we end up in Q2 all the input is consumed and Z0 is on the stack. 
Now, just for fun, let's assume we have the same input, but we decide uh, to change state uh, incorrectly. So let's assume we are in Q0, we have the same input, A, B, B, A, and we have Z0 on the stack. And let's assume we stay in Q0, we push the A on the stack, so B, B, A is left, we have A, Z0. Now assume we take this epsilon transition too early, let's say now. Then we change state and move to Q1, have B, B, A remaining, and A, Z0 on the stack. Now in this state we can match nothing because the, mm, this B here does not correspond to this A here and we are actually stuck in this, uh, in this uh, state. So we are not unable to reach the accepting state now. So this won't work. However, um, our non-deterministic PDA accepts if there is an accepting run and I've shown you that there is an accepting run if we choose correctly. So this PDA actually accepts the language of the palindromes of even length. And we also see the three parts with a push part in which we push everything on the stack. Then we have a guessing where we guess the middle, a matching part and the accepting part.